French company, so in the spirit of teamwork, I'm trying to start off with a French title slide, and if any of you guys read French, you know that my French sucks. Um, and uh, so my English isn't so much better because I'm already taking a perfectly good noun and I'm turning it into a verb. But this uh, talk, I have a quick talk here, is about my experiences moving from one of the most open ecosystems ever to one of the most closed ecosystems ever. Um, and what I found along the way. So I come from SourceForge, and my whole job at SourceForge was to make sure that everybody could share technology and make it better. So my whole job was taking things that are open and making them more open, finding ways to promote the technology and make sure that everybody can see it. And now I work for Alcatel Lucent, where I'm part of the most closed ecosystem ever, where everybody's really worried about control, everybody's really worried about how to you know, get access to machines and prevent access. And, control behavior and manage investments and things like that. So um, we typically don't do a really good job of engaging with developers. At your typical developer panel, we're this guy right here in the suit, um, <laughs> trying to mess up the party, ruin everybody's good time, and we're really awkward and we're the creepy guy in the room. Um, and it's kind of a bummer because I think the network has a lot to offer. This is our U.S. corporate headquarters. How many of you guys know what Alcatel Lucent does? Raise your hands. Nobody? Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Not the right crowd to know what we do. Uh, a picture is worth a thousand words, and we do this, um, which is really complicated. It's kind of funny. So we, we build all the products and solutions that uh, you use every day when you use the network. So wireless, wireline, all this stuff. We make a whole lot of boxes and solutions, and we sell a whole lot of stuff for billions of dollars, and it's way beyond what I can comprehend. And a funny point is that this slide here is the slide that our marketing team gives us to educate us on how to build legible, clear, rational network diagrams. <laughs> so everything we do is like really complicated. And it has to be complicated, because eventually, it's going to be bolted into someone's rack, or it's going to be buried in the ground, or it's going to be sunk to the bottom of the ocean, right? So everything we do has to be what we call carrier grade. So it's really, really complex. Now, the challenge is that most developers see the network as this stuffy, complicated thing that they don't really understand and they don't want to. All they want is a nice, clean pipe that they can send packets down and they can get packets back. And that's really all they care about. And uh, a lot of you got shirts from us that says the dumb pipe on it. That's exactly what this is. That's the dumb pipe. It's the expectation of the network of being nothing more than something that you put a packet on and something that you get a packet back from. And it's the commoditization of, of all this network technology. So it kind of makes sense. If I'm you know, at my house and I have somehow happened upon an excess amount of fluid of some sort, um, you know, like uh, motor oil or you know, cat's blood or something, I will uh, put it in one of these. And I don't know where it goes, and I don't care. And uh, you know, I, I don't think about what happens after that. And if I ever need fresh water, you know, like to you know, whatever, take a shower or whatever, I get it out of one of these. And I don't really care where it comes from either. So the pipes in my house are excessively dumb, or maybe I'm dumb, I don't know. But I certainly don't worry much about it. And this makes the networks kind of sad. I mean, because no one likes being taken for granted. Who is feeling really sorry for the networks? Nobody? Okay. <laughs> they kind of take us for granted, too. Um, so this is a basic graph which explains the real problem. It's not that we're hurting the network industry's feelings. The real problem is that the demand for the network, specifically data services, has far outpaced the revenue per user. And Network awesomeness is suffering as a whole, right? Um, and I mean, just so you know, this data is complete uh, BS. I just made it up. Um, there's real data, but I don't have it. Uh, but anyway, you guys get the point, right? That there's, there's this problem where um, the networks made their investments based on a certain business model and a certain expected usage, and the industry kind of changed and became much more data heavy. And now there's a problem, right? There's a business model problem. And something has got to give because either we're going to lose you know, flat rate data we're going to have increased costs or something horrible is going to happen, right, if we don't figure out ways for the network to take a more active role in participating in the value of the ecosystem. But I think the network has a lot of things to offer. I think that the network always knows where you are. It knows who you are. It knows what device you're on. It knows your device's capabilities. Uh, it knows your preferences, uh, if you care to store them there. It can deliver you content better than anybody else can, right? Um, 
CDNs do a great job, but your network provider is the closest thing to you. If it, if it had the ability to deliver your content, it would be able to do it better. Well, faster. Uh, better depends on how they implement it. Uh, it can enable communications, um, not just picking up the phone and calling people, but advanced call control, telephony, messaging. Uh, I hesitate to put quality of service up there because that's a whole discussion. Um, but we have to figure out a way to make that work too. And it can do basic accounting, right? I mean, we get four or five bills a month, you know, from our energy company and our mortgage or whatever, and one of them is our service provider. So they're already a trusted person for us to pay. So centralizing payments might be something that the network can do. But any developer who's tried to access any of these capabilities, uh, who's had a good experience working with the carrier? Nobody? Okay. I'm not going to wait for you. Um, they, they end up just being really confused, right? Like, how do I talk to, I don't know, Parlay? Like, what is, this, what is this garbage, right? And so I think that what's happened is developers have found a way around this. They've found a way to accomplish a lot of these things over the top. They've done it using just the dumb pipe. They've figured out how we build things over an existing network that accomplish these things. And I think that that's good. I think that innovation is good. But I don't think it excuses the networks from being open. I think that's still a responsibility the networks have. So the solution, I think, is network enablers, of course, right? So that, you know, um, they don't have to understand how to talk IMS or whatever, whatever language it is. I don't even, I don't even know. I'm not a telco guy. I don't even know. But I understand that if you expose these things as rest, that, uh, that you know, developers understand how to use it. And there's an unintended consequence there, too, in that if you expose them as rest, it's not just your cable modem or your set-top box or your cell phone that can access these capabilities. It's anything that can make a rest call, right? So you get into situations where, for example, a website can determine the location of a subscriber, which is scary, but you know, given the right privacy controls, is actually really powerful. So the problem is that there's over 700 carriers, and it's hard enough to make a relationship with one carrier. Who wants to make one with 700? No one, okay. So that's the problem, is that no one wants to write their application against 700 web services. So Carriers are beginning to expose web services, but there are so many carriers. And the solution, I think, is to have a unified network API. And this is something that we're working on. It's something that one API is working on. It's something that a lot of people are working on. And the idea is it's a central point, a central API endpoint, that knows which carrier to pass the, the query on to, to find the answer. Um, 